Story 1 Tondeka, a young woman from South Africa, was 17 years old when she lived in a quaint community tucked away in the picturesque landscapes of the African savanna. She had spent her childhood in an environment rich in fauna, which instilled profound reverence and appreciation for the natural world. Tondeka would start her day with a solitary walk, focusing on taking in the natural splendor of her environment. Tandeka would never have imagined the fate that awaited her when she went for her daily walk just as the sun began to paint the horizon with warm colors. She had no idea that a magnificent lion had become separated from its pride and was prowling around the area where she was. The hunger and the animal's natural instincts drove the predator to search for its next meal. Tandeka's mind wandered as she continued to stroll leisurely through the forest, her heart beating in time with the natural cadence of the environment. She was unaware of the imminent threat, located just beyond the periphery of her field of vision, and as a result, she felt the sense of calm enveloping her. The lion was alerted to her presence as she made her way along a narrow path by the sound of rustling leaves, breaking the previously prevailed silence. The wild creature, which had been mesmerized by the scent of weakness, lurched towards her with a mix of curiosity and hunger as it approached. The calm atmosphere turned into a tense chase in an instant, and her heart started racing. Tandeka's natural instincts kicked in, and her survival mode also began to kick in. She gave it her all and ran as fast as possible, her heart thumping furiously in her chest. Because her sprint was fueled by adrenaline, she gained a slight advantage over the lion, who found it difficult to keep up with her. However, the primal strength and agility of the predator began to close the gap between them with each step it took. Tondeka made a last-ditch effort to escape her attacker by taking cover in a nearby thicket. However, her efforts to conceal herself were futile because the lion's powerful jaws pounced on her leg and tore through her flesh and bone as they clamped down. Tandeka was experiencing excruciating pain but would not give in to the hopelessness despite the agony it caused her body. She mustered the courage to respond by fighting back with an intensity that stemmed from her innate drive to survive. She used a leg that was not being held by the relentless predator to deliver powerful kicks, hoping to deter it. She escaped the lion's grasp after it was momentarily thrown off by her defiance, and it caused it to temporarily lose its grip on her. Tandeka's spirit was unbroken, although she was bloodied and battered when she crawled to safety away from the danger. The commotion in the village alerted the villagers, and they immediately rushed to her aid. They quickly organized themselves and called for emergency medical services, who arrived just in time to administer treatment that saved the patient's life. While Tandeka was being rushed to the hospital, the entire community held their breath and prayed for her full recovery. Surgery was performed on her to fix her broken bones and treat her wounds, and the medical staff worked tirelessly to do so. Her bravery and unbreakability will have been unaffected by the ordeal, which had left its mark on her body. Tandeka was determined to regain her strength and mobility, so she underwent a grueling rehabilitation. As the weeks turned into months, she worked toward this goal. She emerged from the shadows with a rekindled zeal for life, thanks to the unflinching support of her community and the loving family that she had. The story of Tandeka's perseverance and bravery moved people all across the country, capturing their attention and inspiring them. She advocated for protecting Africa's magnificent animals by becoming a wildlife conservation ambassador and using her platform to promote the cause. Her ordeal had resulted in a stronger connection with the natural world, and as a result, she had resolved to spend the rest of her life working to preserve it. Today, Tandeka is a towering monument that stands as a representation of triumph over adversity. Her unyielding spirit and the power of the human spirit to bounce back from adversity are both on display in the scars that cover her body. She continues her walks, now accompanied by a revitalized sense of purpose and a heightened appreciation for the beauty and dangers of the African savanna. Story 2 
Ishan was a brave young boy who lived in a quaint village in the middle of India. Even at the tender age of 10, Ishan possessed a strong sense of compassion and a profound love for animals. As he explored the vast landscape around his village, his days were packed with excitement and the desire to learn new things. But he had no way of knowing that his bravery would be tested in the most extreme way possible on one terrible day. Ishan was never alone thanks to his beloved pet goat, Bodhi, who was always by his side. They would spend time together, wandering around the fields, taking in the sun's rays and listening to the sound of the wind rustling through the tall grass. Ishan considered Bodhi more than just a pet. He regarded him as a friend, a confidant, and an endless source of joy. Ishan and Bodhi were having fun one afternoon close to a dense thicket when suddenly the peace and quiet of their surroundings were rudely interrupted by a menacing roar. Ishan felt chills run down his spine due to the sound, and his heart skipped a beat. When he saw the magnificent lion emerge from the bushes, his eyes widened in fright as they took in the entire scene. He was aware of the impending threat on an instinctual level. Ishan did not dither for even a split second before springing into action. He knew his responsibility was to safeguard Bodhi, his devoted companion, from the vicious beast. He mustered up every ounce of courage he had in him, and he shouted at the lion in the hopes that he could divert its attention away from the goat that was being attacked. The lion ignored Ishan's cries for help because the animal was motivated solely by its baser instincts. Bodhi was attacked by the lion in an instant that stopped the boy's heart and the animal's sharp claws tore into the goat's frail body. Ishan's world came crashing down around him as he watched his dear friend be viciously attacked by the animal that had no compassion. Fear was mixed with an overpowering surge of determination as Ishan rushed forward and positioned himself in the path of the lion so that Bodhi would be safe. Ishan felt a searing pain as the lion's powerful jaws clamped down on his arm and tore through his flesh as they did so. Ishan screamed out in excruciating pain, but he didn't waver in his determination. He fought back against the beast with every ounce of strength left in him, pawing at its face and attempting to pry its jaws open as he did so. Ishan's grandfather, Alim, was far away when he heard the commotion. As soon as he recognized the sense of urgency in his grandson's voice, he ran towards the location, his heart thumping furiously in his chest. When Alim finally reached the clearing, he was confronted with a frightening scene. His dearly cherished Ishan was lying on the ground, bloodied and battered, with the lion still holding him in a lethal embrace. Alim did not think about the situation before seizing a nearby branch and swinging it with all his strength to deliver a resounding blow to the lion. The impact force caused the lion to let go of Ishan, and the young boy fell to the ground, gasping for air as he tried to get his bearings. Ishan was quickly swept into Alim's arms after he realized that his grandson had been hurt. Alim's heart ached at the sight of his injured grandson, Ishan received his soothing words of comfort as he wiped the tears streaming down his face and assured him everything would be okay. Alim raced back to the village while holding Ishan in his arms. The villagers had gathered as soon as they heard the commotion and were waiting for Alim. Ishan was cared for by a doctor who attended to his wounds and was amazed by the young boy's unbreakable will. The elders of the village immediately called for medical assistance. Ishan's physical and emotional wounds took time to heal, but he made slow but steady progress in the days and weeks that passed. The villagers came together to show their admiration, support, and appreciation for the selfless act of bravery that he had just performed. Even though he was left with the scars as a result of the ordeal, Bodhi was able to survive as well. These scars served as a testament to their unbreakable bond. Ishan's experience with the lion left an indelible mark on him, helping him develop into a young man who was determined and compassionate. After that day, he committed to watch over and take care of all living things, no matter how big or small. 
Isan's story became widespread as he got older, motivating countless people worldwide to speak out against injustice and to make compassion rather than fear their default response in all situations. It's a testament to the enduring power of love and courage in the face of adversity that the story of the young Indian boy named Ishan and his unwavering bravery would be retold through generations. Story 3 Talente was born and raised in a small town community in South Africa, tucked away in breathtaking savannas and plains. He was a teenager known for his unwavering determination and willingness to assist others. He was also known for his bravery and sense of adventure. Aize, Talente's mother, was a diligent and hardworking woman who devoted her days to tending to the cornfields that provided food and income for their community. Aize asked Talente for assistance in the cornfields on a particularly bright morning as the sun cast its golden rays across the land. Both the crops and the harvest needed to be tended to, and now it was finally time to harvest them. Talente, who was always eager to assist his mother, readily agreed to go with her to the fields and go there together. They had no idea that danger awaited them as they ventured into the vast expanse of greenery. They were completely oblivious to it. A magnificent lion, his golden mane glimmering in the sunlight, had spotted the two individuals off in the distance and was now looking their way. The lion, who was starving and possessive of its territory, regarded them as intruders. Its powerful muscles started following them without warning, allowing it to move stealthily through the tall grass. Talente and Aize diligently worked in the fields, focusing squarely on the activity. Neither of them was aware that a predator was closing in on them. The eerie silence was abruptly broken by a roar that sent chills down everyone's spine. Panic began to take hold of them as they turned around to look at the source of the terrifying sound. The lion, now only a few meters away, charged toward Talente with a ferocity that was beyond anyone's imagination. Talente barely had time to react before the massive beast pounced on him and tore through his flesh with its razor-sharp claws. Aize, paralyzed with fear, couldn't do anything but watch as her cherished son battled for his life. Talente found himself in the middle of a desperate struggle in a very short time. His natural defense mechanisms kicked in, and he mustered every last bit of strength to defend himself against the onslaught of the lion. He grappled with the beast and could feel the creature's scorching breath on his face as he fought against the beast's enormous strength. Talente fought through the agony and fear pulsing through his body and refused to give up. He mustered all the bravery he could muster from deep within himself and fought back with everything he had. He aimed for the lion's weak spots, hoping to bring the beast's defenses down and using all of the knowledge he had acquired about the animals that lived in his native land. Aize, meanwhile, was brought out of her initial state of shock by the overwhelming love of a mother and an overwhelming surge of adrenaline. She snatched a thick piece of wood lying nearby and ran to her son's aid as quickly as possible. She swung the pole at the lion with all her strength, striking it with enough force to momentarily stun the predator. Talente quickly mustered what little strength he had left, seizing the opportunity to drive the lion away from him. Although he was bleeding profusely from his wounds, he could free himself from the creature's grasp and struggle to his feet. Aize remained standing by his side, her heart racing out of fear and relief. Even though he was being brutally assaulted, Talente's determination to live drove him forward. It was a dangerous journey back to the village for him and his mother, but when they got there, the villagers were amazed to hear about how they had managed to stay alive. As soon as the emergency was discovered, Talente was taken to the nearest medical facility where the staff worked frantically to try to save his life. As Talente continued to fight for his health, the days turned into weeks Although the lion's vicious attack left him with severe physical and emotional wounds, he never lost his willpower or his ability to bounce back from adversity. Talente gradually regained his strength with the assistance of his doting mother 
and the steadfast support of the people in his community. After enduring the ordeal for several months, Talente eventually emerged as a model of resiliency and success. Despite the severity of his wounds, he decided to look at the experience as proof of his inner strength and the capacity of the human body to bounce back from adversity. The story of Talente spread far and wide, encouraging people from all walks of life to persevere in the face of adversity. The lion that had mauled him was apprehended by the local authorities, and it was moved to a safe location in a wildlife sanctuary, located a significant distance from any human settlements. Despite their experience's profound impact on them, Talente and Aize didn't harbor any ill will toward the magnificent creature. They interpreted the event as a cautionary tale about the precarious relationship between humans and other forms of life and the significance of maintaining a harmonious coexistence. Story 4 A magnificent zoo home to various animals could be found in a busy city in India. The zoo was tucked away in the lush vegetation that surrounded the city. One of the hard-working individuals who provided care was a woman named Alani. She was a fiery and resilient individual. Alani had earned a reputable position as a zookeeper due to her profound affection for animals and her unyielding dedication to ensuring their health and happiness. She was known for providing exceptional care to the animals in her charge and forming strong bonds with them. A magnificent African lion with the regal name of JJ was one of the zoo's most prized possessions. JJ commanded awe and reverence from the staff and the guests who came to the zoo due to his magnificent mane and piercing amber eyes. JJ had a troubled past, even though his presence was so intimidating. He had been found as a young cub after being abandoned and left to fend for himself in the wild. Alani had cared for him during his recovery, cultivating an extraordinary bond that grew stronger as they spent more time together. A chain of unanticipated occurrences began to occur in the middle of the normally scheduled feeding time one fateful afternoon. JJ was startled by a loud crash from a nearby construction site, reawakening an innate sense of fear within him. Alani, perceiving that he was uncomfortable, cautiously approached him to calm his anxiety. However, JJ's fear sparked an uncontrollable rage within him, resulting in him lashing out violently at the one with whom he placed the most trust. JJ lunged at Alani in a matter of seconds, his strong paws making contact with her as he viciously dragged her across the enclosure. Alani yelled for help as JJ began to climb on top of her and bite her everywhere, including her head, face, neck, and shoulders. JJ's actions prompted Alani to make frantic calls for aid. She attempted to save her life by pushing JJ away, but her efforts were pointless. Because JJ's weight was resting on Alani's body, she could feel her entire body becoming exhausted. She was left bloodied and bruised due to the brutality of the attack, and her screams of agony could be heard throughout the zoo. The fear quickly spread among the other keepers, and they frantically tried to get someone to call for assistance. The zoo's emergency response team arrived promptly, and their training kicked into high gear. They diverted JJ's attention for a sufficient time to free Yelani from his hold by utilizing all the resources at their disposal. Alani, covered in deep wounds and bleeding profusely, was rushed to the closest medical facility as her life hung in the balance. When word of the terrible event spread throughout the city, it moved the hearts and prompted the prayers of countless people who had come to know Alani and her unflinching dedication. Her spirit remained unbroken in the face of adversity, fighting to survive despite the overwhelming odds against her doing so. Alani fought tooth and nail for her life, enduring a seemingly endless number of surgeries and putting in an extensive effort to recover as the days turned into weeks. The wounds that covered her body were more than just marks on her skin. They were also a symbol of her resiliency and unyielding determination. During those long and challenging days of recovery, Alani found her connection with the animals for whom she had cared was an incredible source of healing for her. 
Her fellow keepers visited her in her room, bragging photographs and tales of the animals she adored and the sights and sounds of the zoo, which she considered to be her home. Alani's body started to mend while her spirit continued to soar, and over time, she gradually regained her strength. Her unbreakable bond with the animals, an outpouring of love and support from the community, propelled her forward and inched her closer to a miraculous recovery. She returned to the place that had been both a sanctuary for her and a battleground for her, and this time she was greeted by her fellow zookeepers, JJ, who now had a newly discovered sense of remorse, observed from a distance. His once imposing gaze filled with sorrow and an understanding of what was happening. Not only was Alani's triumphant return evidence of her incredible ability to survive, but it also served as a powerful illustration of the inextricable connection between humans and animals. Her story touched people and served as a powerful reminder of the unconquerable spirit that resides in each and every one of us. Since that day forward, Alani has never stopped caring for the animals she cherished, resulting in a revitalized relationship of trust and respect with JJ. Their connection, which was irreparably severed as a result of that terrible event, served as a reminder of the precarious nature of life and the extraordinary resilience that is latent in each of us.